In the earliest months of the Clone War, the Republic Navy recognized that their war effort against the Separatists lacked a starfighter that could serve in a capacity as both a starfighter and a long-range bomber. The Republic's answer to this deficiency was the BTLB Y-Wing, turning to Conesayer Manufacturing to produce for them a vehicle that could provide far greater destructive capabilities than the Torrent V-19 Interceptor and the Jedi Starfighters already being deployed. The BTLB Y-Wing was completely unique within the Republic's starfighter fleet, delivering the destructive power that was needed through its armament that consisted of laser cannons, ion cannons, proton torpedoes, and proton bombs. These Y-Wings were deployed early in the Clone War, as seen within the first episodes of the first season of the Clone Wars TV series, in the three-episode arc depicting the Republic's malevolence campaign. During this campaign, Anakin and his personally trained Shadow Squadron would deploy the new Conesayer Y-Wings against Grievous' massive flagship, the Malevolence. The urgency of the mission was certainly key in Anakin's choice of the Y-Wing, as he knew they needed starfighters with enough firepower to deliver a crushing blow to the Malevolence. A subjugator-class heavy cruiser 4,800 meters in length, making it four times larger than the Republic's Venator-class Star Destroyers, and containing mega-ion cannons capable of obliterating entire Republic fleets, Anakin knew the sooner they eliminated the Malevolence from the Separatist fleet, the better. As seen within the Clone Wars TV series, Anakin would lead Shadow Squadron against the Malevolence, and while their direct attack on the bridge encountered significant difficulty, Anakin's modified objectives allowed the squadron to take out the destructive Mega Ion Cannons. All of this is considered canon, but the Legends lore established a lot more in regard to Anakin's attempts simply to get the new Y-Wings in the hands of himself and Shadow Squadron. By the time of Anakin's planned assault in the Malevolence campaign, the Conesayer BTLB Y-Wings were not yet part of the Republic Navy. But through the actions of Anakin, the only Jedi who could or would pull off such a scheme, he would ultimately be the first to pilot a Y-Wing in action together with the clone troopers of Shadow Squadron, adding to his reputation as the galaxy's greatest pilot. As seen within the Clone Wars Procedure comic, just prior to his attack on the Malevolence, Anakin spoke via hollow communication with Supreme Chancellor Palpatine and Malastare Senator Askact, adamant that the new BTLB Y-Wings were exactly what they needed to stop Grievous' flagship. However, Palpatine and the Senator told Anakin their hands were tied by procedure, with the Senator explaining the Starfighters still required weeks of testing before they were declared safe to be used in the Republic war effort. Dedicated to implementing them within his Shadow Squadron, Anakin confidently suggested that he could field test the Y-Wings and then provide valuable results. But the Senator countered by explaining only the Senate could make such decisions so as to reallocate resources like that. Anakin was disappointed and realized there was nothing he could say to change the situation, with Palpatine promising he would do everything to help him by using his power to accelerate the process in supplying the Y-Wings from their testing facility on Bormis. Anakin thanked the Supreme Chancellor, but his revealing the testing facility's location was more important than they could know. With Anakin afterwards telling Ahsoka, he simply heard what he needed to hear. Knowing the Y-Wings were on Bormis, Anakin told his Padawan to gather Shadow Squadron and R2 in the hangar of their Venator, where they would board the Twilight with the two Jedi, with Anakin planning to travel to the Bormis testing facility to retrieve the Y-Wings himself. Having entered the facility, as Ahsoka and Anakin explained to a Bormis representative the Y-Wings were needed due to a Republic emergency, Anakin ordered broadside and matchstick of Shadow Squadron to retrieve the Y-Wings, with the Jedi's orders being all the authorization they needed. When the Grand Representative repeated what Anakin had been told earlier by Palpatine and Senator Ack, where the Starfighters were still weeks away from being ready to enter the Galactic War, and only the Senator could officially request them, Ahsoka and Anakin threatened to go straight to the Supreme Chancellor, telling him the single Bormis representative stood in the way of solving a Republic emergency. It was enough for Anakin's mission to succeed, having obtained enough Y-Wings for himself and Shadow Squadron's planned assault on Grievous' flagship. And while Anakin would make the necessary modifications to the Starfighters himself, he knew it would be exactly what was needed to help the Republic emerge victorious in the coming battle. Due to his dedication to ending the threat of the Malevolence, the issue shows that Anakin would be the first pilot to lead the new Y-Wing into battle for the Republic. So there we have it, the lore behind Season 1's Malevolence arc. Thank you very much to all of the Patreon members of Star Wars Reading Club, as your support is so greatly appreciated. You can find all of our social media links and a link to our Star Wars gaming channel in the description below for updates and even more Star Wars content.
We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. If not for me... For Broadside and Matchstick.